Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. All right, people. Um, first of all, before I go any, any, any further, what I wanted to do is I wanted to give some of my illustrious, beautiful, wonderful um, subs. I want to give y'all uh, some shout outs, okay? Because I appreciate y'all. I really do. I appreciate y'all being out there hanging with me. Um, in spite of me not going live yet, in spite of me doing tests and still not trusting myself enough that I can 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 do it. Um, y'all still um, support my videos, and I, I appreciate it. Even those who have supported the T-shirts, um, I appreciate you for doing that. Um, again, we have these T-shirts, y'all. Y'all already know for ten bucks. Mental health. Take care of your mental health. Take care of it. Take care of it because it is very important. And y'all can hit us up. Um, for that at um, paypal.me.khadija and one with those um, shirts and it'll get or either free soul entertainment paypal.me.free soul that's f r e e s o u l entertainment okay oh, this story is bothering me so much but before I do that y'all can tell I'm just really kind of sad in my spirit. And I got to get over it because this is what we talk about in the mental house. It's so important. When we talk about children are basically, they just basically, in the, they really are hostages. You know, they're at the mercy of their parents. And so when their parents are not thinking straight or their parents are, have mental issues and all these kind of things, there's nothing they can do. They have to be drugged right on along with the parents in their madness, whatever the, the, the parents decide, whatever madness that the parent decides to participate in today, poor child has to be drugged in to this craziness. with the parents and it's really sad it's really hurtful and sometimes when you read these stories that you know happen because the person is mentally ill um you, know, you, 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 you really um you have to bring them so let me just say hi first of all to uh armageddon thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you for being out there. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Oh, I got you already. Um, Jason Hawk. Jason Hawk. How you doing? I appreciate you being out there. Um, we have Kelly Mice Mintz. Kelly Mintz. Thank you. Um, man, y'all, this story. I know I need to. I know I'm. I, I gotta get to it, but I need to. Um, I want to acknowledge y'all first. I really do. I want to. I want to acknowledge you. YouTube is such a crazy place to be sometimes. Just some of these stories are just, you know, it's just depressing. When you start talking about mental condition, y'all, we have to do a better job of getting in touch with these people. To me, what bothered me about this story before I get into it is this lady's got three children. And I'm like, where were her family members? Does she have any? No. Are we so caught up in our own world sometimes when we see our loved ones at their wit's end, we can't even offer, are we so bad off, we can't even offer to babysit for them for a few hours or a few days? Tierra Grant, if I didn't thank you, I'm thanking you now. 
Michelle Judd. Nationwide. Thank you. Clan Lions. I want to thank you for being out there. Um, Juan Winces. Clarissa Caldwell. Valerie Kelly. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much. Kendra Marie. I thank you for being out there, dear heart. Kelly Simpson. I, I appreciate you. Bibiana. <laughs> I hope I'm Bibiana Cortez. That's different. Bibiana Cortez. Thank you. And Sanjay Sharma. And how about I am Coco Loca? I really want to thank y'all for being out there and being good supporters in, of the mental health content. I really do. I appreciate y'all being out there. Um, so let me get right here because this is where I'm going. As long as we share stories and as long as we dump our garbage in the mental health, we have a less chance of something like this happening. There's more room out than in. I always tell people that. All right, this is uh, Kent County officials have confirmed that it's not a black story. It's not a white story. I mean, it, it, it's a it's a mental health story, y'all. Yes, the woman is a young white lady, and which I could care less of the color of her. I want you to just grasp, because I know a lot. I can already hear a lot of y'all saying, "I don't care about why you want to talk." I'm not here for that. Okay? This is what I mean by uh, the human family. You know, this is a sad story. Kent County officials have confirmed that Aubrey Ann Marie Moore, 28, shot and killed her three young daughters Monday before turning a rifle on herself in a triple murder suicide that has family, friends, and the community reeling. Really? What? Nobody wouldn't. Many questions. According to the Detroit Free Press, a medical examiner determined the deaths of Elena Raul, 2, Cassidy Rottery, 6, and Kyrie Rotter, Rotter, 9, were homicides and the death of the mother was a suicide. Moore of Cedar Springs, Michigan, had a history of mental illness and was recently hospitalized. A social worker believed left untreated she was a danger to herself and others. But you let her out with babies. This is what I mean by who cares about the... Who really cares? Who is willing to try to save a world? That is destined to die. Oh, oh. sorry, y'all. Police say she shot her babies with a hunting rifle in the woods. The bodies of three girls and their mother were found Monday in Solon Township, a small community north of Grand Rapids. According to the Kent County Sheriff, Moore used a bolt action hunting style rifle to kill her children in an area of the woods and then loaded their bodies, their dead bodies, into her vehicle. Police said Moore then drove to her boyfriend's house and when she got there, she shot herself. A social worker tried to have her committed for a mental illness. Cassidy and Kyrie's father said Moore was a loving mother and not a monster. According to the WLNS, in September of 2018, a social worker opened a probate file in the Wago court to have Moore committed to a psychiatric hospital. The station reported that the petition for mental health treatment noted that Moore was dangerous. And it reported that a clinical certificate part of the filing read that she'd been diagnosed with unspecified schizophrenia. 
Debbie Ellen has obtained records that show that she was hospitalized last fall, and while there, the social worker began the process of commitment. Brandon Rottery told uh, WLNS that Moore was a caring mother who loved her children. He was having a hard time fathoming how she could do what the police said she did. But he added he was aware she was mentally ill and not in her right mind. And neither are you for saying something so damn crazy. And why in the world would you even impregnate that crazy, that woman with all these issues? Uh. Y'all forgive me, I'm just overwhelmed. She was so protected. I don't want to hear what he has to say. What is wrong with this guy? You should have took your babies out of that house. You know that you should have known that she was under stress, acting funny. She mentally ill to the point where the woman she needs to be hospitalized. Poor babies. Uh, the youngest one is only two. And she shot him with rifle. He added that she was ill and she wasn't sure she had mental health care after her hospitalization. Then he said she might not have been taking her medicine. Dude, so you know you know too much to have left your babies in that kind of situation. You are canceled. You're canceled. Moore had become increasingly paranoid and suffered from hallucinations and had irritable, irrational fears. In the court records obtained by WLNS, the petition said to have her committed read that in part that was based on her mental illness. The individual can reasonably be expected within the near future to intentionally or unintentionally seriously physically injure herself or others and has engaged in acts or acts or made significant threats that are substantially supportive of his expectation. Maybe they all have peace now. The social worker wrote that Moore was keeping her kids from school because the television told her that there would be a school bus accident today. She also lay awake at night believing people would break into her home. She was not eating and believed she was being poisoned. Where? With the grandmother. She was ordered to be hospitalized for up to 60 days by a judge with a follow up treatment after her discharge. It's reported that she was in the hospital, but for how long is not clear. It's also not clear how, if it's known, that if she saw any kind of aftercare. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help pay for the funeral costs. And that was created by the children. Uncle, my name is Joseph Graham. On Monday, I was interrupted doing homework and received the worst heartbreaking news I could ever imagine. I lost my nieces and the world lost three beautiful angels. Kyrie Rottery, Cassidy Rottery, and Elena Raul. No one understands or no one ever will understand what I am trying to accomplish. Is to, but what I am trying to accomplish is to get my family and the Ra family some love and some, some sort of support. At the very least, I'm praying to cover the funeral costs with this, but anything in excess will be used for legal purposes, trying to figure out how Arbian was neglected by doctors and treated to a lesser degree of help other than what she needed. My family is not the only one who is suffering. Another man named Stephen Rao lost his daughter, Elena said, and he, Elena, and he lost his girlfriend, Abiyan Moore, who was neglected by the doctors. Stephen and countless others from his family and friends were affected. I mean, I want to know if you guys are taking any responsibility here. You know, dealing with her. Some of the people while mourning the children were compassionate towards more based on her illness. 
The prettiest smiles hide the deepest secrets. The prettiest eyes have the cry the most tears. And the kindest hearts have felt the most pain. Many comments on Moore's Facebook page included public statements about mental illness with many suggesting that not getting the help she needed, some of her own posts point to perhaps suffer, suffering she was experiencing and signs of mental illness. On that post, commenters are now crying for her children and for more. You poor thing, too late, but I hear you. In the words you shared in that picture, I wish people in your life would have supported you and that our mental health system hadn't failed you. Your tortured soul is not at, is not at rest. And Aubrey Ann, like I said, I got compassion on it for any story that is riddled with mental illness because there's so many unanswered questions and you know, being living in a mental ill society where a crazy society where it's easy to just give up and throw in a towel and become part of it. I just feel sorry for the babies. I really do. And uh, I'm going to get off now. So thank y'all for being here because that story really touched my heart. And uh, may y'all rest in peace.